inferior mesenteric vein and superior mesenteric vein, the superior mesenteric, inferior mesenteric vein, all will converge with the gastric, of course, that are not shown. They will converge to form the hepatic portal vein. So this is the hepatic portal vein. This is the pancreas. You can see the pancreas, the spleen, and the duodenum. This artery, which is very close here, what do you call this artery? This artery comes from the water. The water would be here. And this is the abdomen. You see, this is the spleen is in the abdomen, so the diaphragm would be here. Uh, the stomach is here. Now, this branch is called celiac trunk. Celiac trunk that comes from the aorta, it gives three branches. Celiac trunk branches are the splenic artery, this is the splenic artery, it goes to the spleen. This is small artery which is goes to the lung, is called left gastric artery. It goes to the stomach, sorry, I said it's finished. It goes to the stomach, it's called left gastric artery. So one artery goes to the spleen, splenic artery, to the stomach, it's called left gastric artery, and to the liver, it's called common hepatic artery. The common hepatic artery is here. The common hepatic artery will give two branches that are not shown, but just know that this is the common hepatic artery. When it comes to here, it will be hepatic artery proper. This is hepatic artery proper. Now it goes to the liver. But before that, if the arrow is here, this is the common hepatic artery. And these are the three branches from the celiac trunk. Common hepatic, splenic, and left trunk. Three branches from the celiac trunk. So, so no, this is celiac trunk. This is hepatic portal vein and the branches of the hepatic portal vein. That they drain the blood to the hepatic portal vein. This is one model. Another 